Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have already seen how to write the chemical formula of a compound when its name was given. But in this video, we will be going the other way. That is, we will be writing the chemical name of a compound when the chemical formula of that compound is already given to us. So let's get started. Now here I have a formula of a compound which is KCl. Now the first thing that we need to do just after looking at this uh, formula is that we need to try to figure out what must be the constituents of this particular compound. So here on having a closer look I could figure out that it must be having K plus that is potassium ion and also it must be having Cl minus which is the chloride ion. Now on combining these two names we can get the whole name of this particular compound as potassium chloride. Now let's do some more examples. Here I have a formula that is CaOH2. Now here we have to figure out what must be the constituent of this particular formula. Now here I see that it must be having Ca which is a calcium ion and OH which is a hydroxide ion. So we can combine these two names and get the whole name of this particular compound as calcium hydroxide. Now this is a formula of a compound which is CaCO3. Now here even, even here we can find out that it has a calcium ion that is Ca2 plus and CO3 which is a carbonate ion which is denoted as CO3 2 minus. Now from these two ions we can figure out the name of this compound as calcium carbonate. Now let's do some more problems like this. Now here I have a compound which is represented as Al2SO4 3. Now such a big compound right. Now this compound has aluminium which is given as Al. And it also has sulfate ions that is SO4 2 minus. Now on combining these two names, the answer that we get is aluminium sulfate. So the name of this compound is aluminium sulfate. Now here I have KNO3. Let's name this compound. Now here the compound has K and NO3. And we know that K stands for potassium. And NO3 is a polyatomic ion which is called a nitrate ion. So the name of this compound becomes potassium nitrate. Again, I have a big compound which is NaHCO3. Now this compound we can dissociate into two ions that is uh, one is sodium that is Na and the rest of the part serves as the negative ion that is HCO3 minus. Now this is again a polyatomic ion which is called a hydrogen carbonate ion. So the total name of this compound becomes sodium hydrogen carbonate. So this is how we write the chemical name when the chemical formula is given to us. And I hope this video is helpful for you and you like this video. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.